Today's rant is on one artist who I des- despise as much as Nicki Minaj. One artist who says he's the greatest rapper alive, which to me, he's the wackiest and most overrated in my eyes. No one other than Lil Wayne. The same with Nicki Minaj. I will talk about him in my next Mar Music rant, but I have so much to say about this douche, and I feel like I need a rant on him. Lil Wayne is one of the most overrated, despicable, and disgusting rappers in Mar Music. His music and songs sound the same. He can't rap nor sing. No swagger, no flow. Lyrics are god awful, and he's not a good rhymer. Usually he would try to but he sometimes just repeats it and doesn't rhyme at all. That's just lazy. Most of his beats and instrumentals from his songs are pretty catchy, but if you have terrible lyrics, rhymes, and have no meaning for it, then you just plain suck. Lil Wayne has been around since the late 90s. He was part of this rap group, which some people say he was the great, he was the talent, the most talented in the group, the Hot Boys. In 1999, he released his first album, The Block Is Hot, and it gained success. I've listened to a few songs from the album, but I didn't find any of them great. He doesn't sound all that great in his older songs, but does so- doesn't sound as bad as he does now. So apparently Lil Wayne, before he became famous, he pretty much wasn't all that great. I just didn't find any appeal in his older songs either. His next albums weren't all that great. The Lights Out and 500 Degrees failed, and back then there was no radio play for him. Thank God. Wayne started becoming more popular in 2005 when he was featuring the song Soldier by Destiny's Child, featuring T.I. Sooner or later, his popular really skyrocketed in the same year with the Carter II album being released. He actually thinks or pretends that he's the greatest rapper alive and will actually trick his fans or anyone who likes his music. Really? I don't see how this guy can try to brainwash his fans or anybody that likes his music. Why would he do that? And because of that, people actually think he's the greatest. No, he's not. Stay away from Lil Wayne. He's hypnotizing them like Biggie Smalls' song. People, 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 can't you see? This guy sucks, also known as Wheezy. And I just don't understand the music of today. What the heck is wrong with this society? Dude, you're not the greatest rapper alive. In fact, there are more talented rappers out there that I consider the greatest alive. Uh, There's Nas, Common, Most Def, Lupe Fiasco. Some can say um, Eminem. But Lil Wayne is nowhere near the greatest. And girls think he's sexy. Really? How can girls be attracted to a non-talented, annoying rapper who sounds like he has a dick caught in his throat and has piercings on his mouth, grills, and tattoos all over his damn body, which is unattractive to guys and gals? You ruin your whole damn body. I mean, for goodness sakes, he looks like Whoopi Goldberg's long-lost love child. Sorry, Whoopi, love you, but you guys kind of look alike. <laughs> like mother, like son. I mean, heck, Tupac was a better looking guy than this douche. Girls, if you want a good looking rapper, um, I don't know, maybe you should stick to Tupac or LL Cool J, somebody like that. I mean, Lil Wayne, come on. I also hate when some people compare him to less legends such as Tupac, Biggie, Big L, Big Pun, even Easy e Sure, Ice Cube wrote his lyrics while they were together in N.W.A., but at least he wrote his songs after the group broke up and before his death. Sure, he has some songs about sex and girls, but uh, but also talked about the street life and other important stuff. Easy knew what he was talking about and was not fake. Lil Wayne probably never had a tough life and probably did not struggle when growing up, so he pretty much pretends so he can be popular and famous. All Wayne talks about in most of his songs are sex, women, money, bling, etc. I mean, that's how most of today's rappers are these days. You hear from the same thing over and over again from these rappers. Back when rap and hip-hop was great, they talked about how life is hard, having no money, and having a true message. 
Nowadays, you don't hear that from some guys like Wayne and others. No wonder Nas said hip hop is dead. I mean, it's not really dead. I mean, it is, but it's just it's just buried alive. That's why underground music is alive. So either way, music is pretty much dead. I don't remember a terrible rapper as bad as this guy. Well, there's Vanilla Ice for some exception, some exception. But you got to admit, the beat for Ice Ice Baby is pretty catchy, even though it's a sample from a Queen song. But I'd rather listen to Ice Ice Baby 24-7 than any of the crap Wayne releases. I mean, his songs are god awful, like Six Foot, Seven Foot, Fireman, Lollipop. Yeah, a typical song about getting some, you know, sex and stuff. Please, the Notorious B.I.G.'s F You Tonight featuring R. Kelly from his Life After Death album and Tupac's Temptations are way, way better and, and more interesting sex songs than Wayne's Lollipop. Really? Then there's Miss Officer. Oh yeah, so he's pretty much in love with an female officer. The song is god awful. The only good thing about it is Bobby Valentino. He's a pretty good singer and his choirs were great. And the beat is pretty good. It is off the hook. But Wayne, he's not. He is god awful. And he sounds annoying. He sounds like a gargoyle on crack. I mean, really. Like a cop cow. Bobby Valentine now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shut the hell up, dude. Beat it like a cop. I've been saying beat it like a cop. Oh my god. Yeah. Ugh. So annoying his voice sounds so whiny anyways let's talk about his superhero team young money this is nothing but a superhero rap group of non-talented super zeros of course you have your captain and Lil Wayne others include Nicki Minaj strength being a stupid hoe weakness can't rap a lick Drake strength can sing a little bit weakness can't rap then there's Tyga, strength, banging his girl after watching ESPN. Weakness, definitely sucks at rapping. And everybody else, the seven drawers of the group, they pretty much suck. Gooda Gooda, J Mills, Mac Main, yada yada yada, they all suck. And Tyga, he definitely sucks. He can't rap. She like tanning. I like staying in. She like romancing. I like rolling with friends. She said I'm caged in. I think her conscience is what it conscious her conscience is. She she watching that oxygen. I'm watching ESPN. But when that snow ends, she under my skin, lotion. My gosh, shut the hell up, dude. You suck. God. My God. And speaking of him, he got this song out called Rack City. Yeah, it's a song about making it rain in the club. But he has two versions of it. Now, there's one version of Rack City where he's in Las Vegas somewhere and he's making it rain in a club. But in another version of Rack City, in some of the parts, they show him making it rain in the club. But the whole video is pretty much about this robbery thing. And it's kind of like a Grand Theft Auto music video. And I'm like, dude. Your song is about Rack City, making it rain in the club. So why did you have another version of your video and it's like Grand Theft Auto-like? What the hell? And there's another thing that ticks me off about today's music genre. When you make a song, artists, usually the concept or the music video doesn't go with the song. So it's like, what the heck? They're not even trying. They're just glad to be on TV in front of the camera. That is just stupid. Come on. Anyways, Young Money, they're a terrible rap group. Let's start off with their first song, Every Girl. This song is about the guys of Young Money. They want to bang every girl in the world. Now, don't get me wrong. As men like me and women as well, we have our desires. And I'm sure there's probably some guys that will like to bang every girl in the world. Some women probably want to bang every man in the world, and it's funny that at the end of the video they put not every girl in the not every girl in the world. So they pretty much lie that they want to bang every girl in the world. Okay, now don't get me wrong, the song is kind of funny. It has it's pretty funny, but at the same time, at the end of the day, it's nothing but the same old rap song about 
sex that we hear every day, all the time, 24-7, and it's just old. The the one funny part I really like was from, uh, what's his name, rapper Mac Main, where he mentions Miley Cyrus in this one part. Mac Main, I like Megan Good, Angelina Jolie, ha, D. Woods, for free suits I get Paris hitting all-nighters. And in about three years, how I mean Miley Cyrus? <laughs> uh, no, he didn't mention Miley Cyrus. He ain't lost his mind. But as far as all that, the song is pretty funny, but come on. It's the same old stuff. Then there's Bedrock. What the hell is this? The Flintstones? Anyways, the music video is a bigger joke than the song. The, the, the music video is like a parody. It's like a black version of Jersey Shore and the real world mixed together. The song sucks too. So that's all I have to say. And there are some people that compare Young Money to the 90s rap group Junior Mafia. Remember Junior Mafia when they had Biggie and Lil' Kim and Lil' C's and others? Junior Mafia is way better than Young Money. They were a great rap group back then okay so i don't know why they want to compare them i guess since the music genre is so bad they gotta compare with something good to something that sucks these days come on y'all either way it's no contest (laughs) i mean junior mafia whether with biggie or after his death (laughs) junior mafia they still better than young money young money is god awful i don't see how anybody can like young money and lil wayne period bottom line is Lil Wayne sucks, along with his Young Money group. And all of them together should just go away and leave this industry as possible. They're pretty much ruining it, and they're not helping themselves. Lil Wayne, go get a job at Burger King. Flip some Whoppers or whatever for people that love Whoppers. Uh, Nicki Minaj, you should go to a Barbie factory and make adorable Barbie dolls for all the little girls in the world. And Drake, you should just stick to acting since you did play this so-called Jimmy wheelchair kid in in this damn Degrassi show that I heard. So you can go do that. And as for the others, go sell some crack or something. You you guys aren't doing anything. So those are my thoughts on Lil Wayne and Young Money. Tell me what you think. Do you honestly think that Lil Wayne is the greatest rapper alive? Or do you honestly think he's the most overrated? If so... Name some rappers do you may, you may think is the greatest alive. And um, what do you think about Young Money too? I mean, honestly, people should be listening to real rap music. Lil Wayne's got awful. I don't see how anybody can like him. There are many better rap music to listen to, like Tupac, Notorious B.I.G., Big L, Big Pun, Run DMC, The Beastie Boys. Come on, you guys. Anyways, this is all I have to say. Tell me what you think. So long.